Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below.
Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. The knowledge that we're supposed to be seeking out of the Bible is God's laws. So what's the law? Give me Leviticus 19 and uh, 17. Watch this. This is a simple law. Everybody knows this one, but no one actually practices it. And that's the problem. He said because don't, no one wants to do what God tells us to do, that's why we got blood touching blood. I mean, that's black on black crime. That's the violence that we got going on in our communities. The hatred that we have for each other. Watch that. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Simple law, right? When I look at you, I don't hate you. You just walked up, you wanted to talk to me, cool. You, you're my brother. You look like me. Well, how can I hate somebody look like me? But then when we see a lot of our people, when we see the other nations, we got more love for them than we got more love for ourselves. That's self-hatred. Because this goes for a day, like in Jeremiah, you talked about this. He said their children would be their oppressors and their women would lord over. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly, it's, like, it, it, it's compounded, man, over time. This stuff is mounted up because it's retribution no matter what you say. That's the law, the perfect balance of law God put on this earth, which means right. ultimately we're going to destroy ourselves. If right. we don't wake up. Watch this. I'm going to show you exactly why we're going through the things we're going today. Oh, word yeah, for know. word. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Yeah, now, Deuteronomy 28. This is, this is going to explain what you just said. Watch. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So God gave Moses the commandments in the wilderness, right? This is after we left Egypt, got all the people out, and then God set up their game of the commandments. He said, we don't listen to what God told us to do. What's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, all the curses of, of what God got for us is going to overcome us and overtake us. And I'm going to give you some curses. Watch, uh, give me, uh, give me verse 46. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So the curses that we, that we read right here, this is a sign to let you know who the children of Israel are. That's, this is where we were going earlier when we were talking about we don't know who we are. We are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We still walk, walking around here calling ourselves black, Hispanic, uh, uh, Latino, all these other uh, nationalities, where God calls us the children of Israel. But it's, when we read 15, it said, if we don't hearken to what he tells us to do, then he's going to put curses on us, right? So let me give you some laws. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. Do you know what we're supposed to be doing as God's uh, chosen people? So I see you got, you got, you got a, a, a zeal inside you that you want to, that you want our, uh, a change for our nation. As a child of God, mm -hmm. I know for one that I'm supposed to, like I said, for one, like Second Chronicles 7 14. Because I know my job is Humble to yourself. myself. And, and yeah, right. repent. I'm supposed to turn away from you. But okay. it also, like in Leviticus 10 10, that they distinguish between the, the clean and unclean, holy and unholy. You know what I'm it means? I'm supposed to be holy and set apart for God, so I'm not, I, I, I'm different. So you know what it means to repent? Yeah, I know what it means. It means to turn away from. To turn away from. You acknowledge something. Change, change, right? You, yeah, you got to change. You know what sin is. Yeah, yeah, I know what sin is. What sin? Anything that's against the will of God, but also it says the invisible attributes of God have been manifested and made known to man since the beginning of time, so he is without excuse. So God has given you a conscious Holy Spirit conviction okay. of what's wrong, even if this might seem something new. All right, you, watch you this. You got your discretion. You understand what to do. Watch this. I'm going to read the definition of sin. And then I'm going to show you some sins that you can that you can change out the Bible, right? You, 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 you humble enough to hear that from us, right? Like if we see something, because like Leviticus 5.1, if I see a sin, I'm supposed to point it out, right? And then what you supposed to do? Change. That's what repentance is about, right? Read that. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever commit a sin, transgressive also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin, the definition of sin according to the Bible is a transgression of God's laws. So I'm going to show you a sin I can see that you're in right now. You might not have known this, but I'm going I'm to read it to you. And then from there, it's up to you if, you, if you're going to uh, listen to the words of God or reject it. Because if you reject it, you already know that the, the, it's damnation coming, right? Destruction. 
So we out here, we don't want to see our people uh, get, get uh, feel that. So get that. Numbers. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel yep. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Now it said bid them. Bid means to command. It said command the children of Israel that they make them fringes in the border of their garments, right? Read. Throughout their generation. Throughout their generation. As long as we still generating, still having kids, still spawning a uh, 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 posterity, still supposed to be put, keeping this law, right? You read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. So now, what's one thing you see from... Check, check, check. What's one thing you see from all of the brothers that's out here right now that we got on, on our garments, on our clothes? Something's blowing in the wind. Okay, can I say something in regards to, in respect to that? Yeah. Because he also addressed it, though, mm -hmm. and said that, you know, the new moon Sabbath, I mean, God gives out a whole list right. of everything that we thought we could do to obtain his favor. And then he, uh, they humbled themselves before God after they were reacclimated to the language that they were living in this in this environment, right? right. And given the King James Bible, which uh, we know that the first Bible was canonized in 100 AD, so King James didn't do nothing, you know what I mean, but just translated. But right. what I'm saying is when they learned these laws, which the people who had jurisdiction over them were violating and transgressing these laws in themselves. All right, I'll, I'll pause you there for a second. I'm trying to make sure I get almost done, though. Oh, my bad. I'm, 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 to, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss the topic. Because we want to touch on what love and is. That's what I'm talking about. And we, we still, so, we I'm still touching on the commandments. You, you did, yeah, exactly. This right. is what I'm addressing, the garments. So what I'm saying is, after they come to this knowledge of this, which they weren't, they were never given these drawers. It was something about that. And maybe it's because we didn't deserve the world. Because what I'm saying is, why well, I brought that up to you in the first place is because we're missing a boat. You can try to grab any law you want. But until we humble ourselves for what we did to Jesus, man, it's going to get worse. All That's right. all I'm trying to tell you. It don't even matter what we wear. Because it's about that we don't want to hop out our skin. In I'm going to I'm I'm show you. Remember, now you said you was, you was going to humble down and listen if you didn't. If you didn't, if it's a commandment. Right. So I'm a, So I read the I first commandment, said, right? So the first commandment we read was, Throughout the generations, I mean, it's never ending. This law never ends. And we supposed to be. It don't. It don't. We supposed to be. Yeah. Throughout, throughout, it says throughout our generations, right? It don't end. I mean, so we still generate, right? Yep. That so means the children are, of Israel we, supposed to be keep, still keeping the commandments. We are those Read Second John six. Hey man, I hear you guys are talking, brother, and, and y'all y'all um, exchanging some words and stuff with the scriptures. I see you got some understanding already. Right. When I walk up to you, you said shalom. You got a bit of understanding already. Are you studying with a cap already or something? Or how, how was your understanding coming from? Oh, it's come from the Most High God. Okay, what cap are you studying with? The Most High God. Okay, well, the Most High God said this. Give me Judah 8 and 24. Because I know y'all talking about a lot of stuff and you say you're angry about things that's going on in the world, no, about what happened to Christ. Well, I mean, you're supposed to be angry. You're supposed to be angry. The Bible says you're supposed to be angry, right? Okay, the, but the disappointment starts with what? It starts with us. Well, yeah, what, what we going to do, that's right? What I said. And that's the whole thing. I heard you, you talking about Christ, how he died. All the 400 years of slavery, you know, all this kind of stuff happened to us. It still happened to us today. We systematic slave enslaved right now. Read Job 824 because I want you to get some understanding before you leave here. Because he's trying to give you some laws, but, but the thing he's trying to give you some laws on, he's trying to show you something to us. Well, read that. The book of Judah, chapter 8, verse 24. Yep. Now, therefore, oh brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. So we got to be an example. So us shooting each other down, all the black on black crime, all the stuff. We got to be an example. How do we be an example? We go to the Bible and figure out what God's telling us to do. So the things he tells us to do, whether it be New Testament, Old Testament, Apocrypha, it's all one book. It never changes, right? It never changes. Go to Malachi 3 and 6. Did you finish that? Finish that out. Uh, because their hearts depend on us. Because their hearts depend on us. The, the minds of our children, the mind of our people depend on us. Because God gave us his understanding to come out here and teach our people so they can get the understanding come about that madness that we've been taught all these, all these years, right? Give me uh, Malachi 3 and 6, God, about God changing. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. Yep. For I am the Lord, I change not. Uh-huh. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So that way it means the Lord said he changed not. So that means we mean the Old Testament, New Testament, anything. He's saying I changed not. We're supposed to keep the commandments, right? That's what love is. You mentioned earlier, right? Quick, get John real quick. 
Give me John, because you said you mentioned love, but then the thing didn't come out. I didn't hear, I didn't hear y'all bring, you were bringing scripture on either. We want to make sure we're using God's words. God said use my words, not our own emotions about, about love. I didn't hear scripture come about love. First read that real quick. You about, you about to read right now. Second John 6. No, I want, I want John 14, 15. Okay. First John 14. Because we got to realize one thing, as, as men, as Israelite men, we have to keep the commandments. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no we choose our choose the the, uh, the laws we want to uh, come up with or which ones we want to keep or not keep and that's the whole thing with us we want to decide when we want to keep the laws and we don't want to keep the laws but God ain't give us no, no choice law, no there's law, no law to give us a no choice law, read what you no got law can get you to God. the book of John chapter 14 verse 15 read if you love me keep my commandments do what keep my commandments so keeping the commandments commandments because what we trying to get the kingdom right we trying to get the kingdom of God that's gonna get us close to God right. If we don't, if we don't keep the command, we're not getting close to God. Correct? Give me that revelation, man. Go to the last book, man. I want to show you what's outside the kingdom and what's inside the kingdom. Because if we're going to get close to God, there's certain things we can't do. Then go to First Corinthians 13 when you're done. Okay. What's your point with the First Corinthians 13? Read it. It speaks for okay. itself. Give me that revelation. I want that 22 where it shows you outside what's outside the kingdom walls. Because I can put cut on the The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Read. Blessed are they that do His commandments. Blessed are who? Blessed are they that do his commandments. So doing the commandments is not going to get you close to God is what he's saying. But the Bible's saying that blessed those who do his commandments, right? That. So that's how you get the blessing. Okay, re re rephrase what you said that. again then. Because then you're not even saying what I said. So I'm, I'm asking, asking you, repeat it. Is this, because I know it's sensitive for people because what they believe in, you know, to a certain extent, even if it'll destroy everybody else, it's hard for them to get away from that. They it's okay. It. Destruction, so, is, destruction is wanted. So it's them what, coming. So what I'm saying, when I'm talking to you, I noticed something. You're not saying anything I said. If you, we, you can. Well, I'm reading the Bible. This camera, I'm reading the Bible. You played back this tape. Yep. The things that you said, I said, I never said. Okay. But you, you paraphrase. I paraphrase. You paraphrase. Yes, sir. A remix of what will fit what you're because, saying. Because I, I get down to the bare bones, man. I like layman's me terms. Too. I like me layman's too. terms. So, so when I, I, so when I repeat back what I said to you, because that's how I received it. That's how I heard it, right? So let's, let's read that scripture. God. The book of Revelations, chapter 22. We're we, we going to show you what gets you close to God. What we'll gets you the kingdom. This is the problem with our people right here. They don't want to listen. We can't we can't reason with the scripture because you're trying to come out and teach us. You see what I'm saying? We want to read the Bible. Okay, we have to be on one accord too, though. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. Give me, give, 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 give me Amos. Give me Amos. And that's the whole thing. We don't agree. We don't agree because you're not keeping no commandments. You're not keeping no commandments, right? God bless, man. No, no, no. You're not keeping no commandments, man. The brother ain't keeping no commandments. And that's the whole understanding we are. We are to teach our people to keep God's commandments. That's the whole purpose of being out here. Wearing fringes, keeping the Sabbath day holy, not buying and selling on the Sabbath. Those are the things we're going to be doing to keep ourselves close to God. Not doing our own thoughts and doing our own opinions. That ain't what it is. We've been set out here to set an example to our people to show what we're supposed to be doing. Not giving us our own understanding or our own twisted version of the scripture. Remember, we, asked, we did ask a brother, what camp he belonged to? He said he's dealing with Most High God on his own. Matter of fact, give me that in Acts 8.31. Because ain't no such thing as dealing with the Most High on your own. Most High always sent prophets to talk to the people. It's always throughout the Bible. If he reading the Bible, he realized he reading the words of God through who? The prophets. The prophets are the ones to come out and teach the words. So if you ain't want to hear from the prophets, then you ain't trying to hear the, hear the word of God. Then you trying to be a part of the problem and not part of the solution. Read what you got. The book of Acts. Chapter 8, verse 31. Hello. And he said, how can I accept some man guide me? He said, how can I learn that somebody guide me? Somebody has to teach his word. It says a man has to teach his word. God ain't coming down to teach nobody no word. If God got to come down to teach you anything, he going to teach you how to get put to death. Because that's what's going to happen when you see the most high God. You're going to get put to death talking about you waiting on him to deal with you. That ain't the way it works. That ain't how we change our community. That ain't how we change our mindset. We need to understand. We need to be taught. And God says what? Save us. Read what you got. Look at Acts chapter 8 verse 31. Read. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? Read that again. How can I accept some man shall guide me? Jump up one verse. Verse 30. And Philip ran to the town, and he heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So he heard a man reading the Bible by itself, on his own, trying to get his own understanding of the Bible. He heard him reading the Bible, and he asked the man, do you understand what thou readest? The man just left here, act like he had some understanding of a few scriptures, but then soon he started trying to go to the Bible and use God's words, the brother burnt out. He took off. You know why? Because he understands that he ain't dealing with no ordinary spirits up here. We dealing with the spirits.
spirit of the most high God. And that's the way we gonna roll all day, every day. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth